Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I told you that I'd do a review on the Mountain House Granola with Milk and Blueberries to compare it against the Numana Granola that we had. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've never had it before. So you'll get an authentic response or an authentic reaction to the quality, taste, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do uh, the prerequisites, I'll call it. This has two servings, and as you can see, it's freeze-dried granola with milk and blueberries. And the blueberries in there, I am pretty sure they're not they're not freeze-dried. I think they're dehydrated blueberries in there. But we're going to check them out because the dehydrated blueberries, when you look at them, they, they're real small. But the freeze-dried blueberries are like the actual size of a regular blueberry. So we'll see when we open it up. Like I said, I've never had this before. And the ingredients in this is granola, which contains oats, brown sugar, uh, coconut, and soybean oil. I don't like that it's got soybean oil, but it is what it is. And wheat germ, sesame seed, natural vanilla flavoring. Uh, it's got non-fat dry milk. Oh, it's got freeze-dried blueberries. Okay. And it's got a uh, dry cream. Let's see. It says it's got... Palomate to protect flavoring, vanilla flavor, cane sugar, cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, dextrose, uh, tricalcium, phosphate. Phosphate, I think that's also a preservative. And it says here it contains milk, soy, wheat, and coconut, obviously. All right, so this whole pack takes one half cup of cold water, which as you can see, I already have there waiting. And this thing packs 500 calories for a whole pouch. It's got two servings of 250 calories a piece. Uh, we've got 16 grams of protein for the whole pouch. And it's pretty carbohydrate rich as well. At 37 grams per serving. So 74 grams of carbohydrate. So as far as all the nutritional information goes, it's got your minimal vitamins. Uh, and you know, vitamins. Uh, you got A, C, calcium, and iron. Everything here, as far as I can see, is pretty minimal. So you should know that you should have some vitamins in your preps or supplements, okay? Because most of the foods that we're going to store away, like rice, that doesn't really have vitamins in it. Beans, you know, it may have some vitamins, but not many. You're going to need to prep some supplements. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And let's take a look at the directions real quick. I don't think you have to wait very long. You just, all you do is pour your water in there. You stir it so that the milk can, uh, you know, I guess so that the powdered milk can turn into regular milk. And then it's ready to eat. Wow, it's got a lot of blueberries. That's what it looks like inside. I'm going to put it in a bowl so you can see. But it's got a whole bunch of blueberries, which tells me why this is so pricey as you as you could probably imagine this is a mountain house food and i haven't found one mountain house food yet that wasn't pricey uh when you compare the ratio of calories to cents okay so i do believe this is about six or seven dollars and you're looking at 500 calories so you're paying a pretty high premium on your calories however you all know how where i stand as far as getting these types of foods. Uh, I call these the luxury foods of prepping because before you start buying these, you should have all of your basics taken care of. Unless you have unlimited means, and if you have unlimited means, then you can buy as many of these as you want. But if you're of limited means, then uh, the only time you should really be buying these is once you've got all your basics taken care of and you've got a good six month, in my opinion at least, six month to one year supply of storable long-term storage food okay so there we go this is what it looks like as you can see it's got a whole bunch of blueberries i'm gonna smell it before i put the water in there yeah it's got a very bland smell to it i didn't expect it to really smell you know like too much you can smell the milk in there the milk powder so let me go ahead and grab a spoon and then i'm gonna stir that around So like I said, it takes a half a cup of cold water. Put that 
there so you guys can look at it if you want. Then we'll stir it around. Oh, and uh, I just finished watching a video from Moat Cottage. And she was teaching people how to dehydrate bananas. And Moat, just so as you know, I have a couple of really ripe bananas on my countertop. I'm not going to dehydrate them, but I'm going to eat them with this breakfast. Here, I want to show them to you. I think these here would be perfect for what you did in your video. So I'm going to go ahead and chop these up. Well, not both of them. That'd be way too much. Chop these up and put them on top of this. But first, I'm going to taste this without any of this banana on, on it. And look at that. It turned purple or blue. So there you go, it's all mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to let it sit for just a second or two. Or a minute or so. To let that granola soak up a little bit of that water. Because I don't really like my granola really crunchy. And then we'll see what it's like. So in between, I just want to let you guys know that this weekend I won't be posting anything. Uh, as you all know, if you've been following, I'm going fishing this weekend for some halibut. And I'm not sure that where I'm going to be, there's going to be any kind of reception. So if you guys don't see anything from me this weekend, it's because I'm hopefully uh, caught up on a huge halibut. And when I catch one of those guys, I am going to cut it up or I'm going to make a meal with it and show you guys what it looks like. Because halibuts are delicious and especially Alaskan halibut are really, really good. So... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to post a video tomorrow or not. I probably will post a short video because I do have something to cover tomorrow. But you won't see anything as far as the Twilight Zone on Saturday. And there won't be a Q&A this Sunday as well. Okay. And uh, I'll be back sometime in the middle of next week. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll try to catch those up. Because it would be a massive video for me to try to do a Q&A for two weeks in a row. But we'll see what happens. So this is what it looks like after you let it soak for a little bit. Honestly, it doesn't look very... Um, it looks kind of nasty. <laughs> but I haven't tasted it yet. It doesn't look very appealing to the palate. But let's see what it tastes like. It has so many blueberries, this thing. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I'm not endorsed by Mountain House. They don't pay me or anything like that. And I purchased this Mountain House myself. This right here, I will definitely be buying more of. I'm probably going to buy the number 10 cans. Because this is delicious. This is by far, as far as a breakfast meal, or even a dessert meal, this is a 10 to my palate, this right here is a 10 out of 10 as far as a either breakfast or dessert meal goes. All right, and that's not considering the cost, okay? I'm putting the cost aside. I'm just rating this as far as taste, texture, and how easy it was to prepare. This is the easiest Mountain House food to prepare. All you do is just put water in it, okay? But this is by far way, way better than the Numana granola that I tried. Uh, the only difference really between this and the Numana as far as what it has is that this has milk in it and blueberries. Numana was just full of nuts and granola. Okay. But this is delicious. This, this here could act as a dessert if you wanted to. It's not super sweet, but it's sweet enough to take care of your sweet tooth. But it really is delicious. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. And I highly recommend it. If you have the means or if you're in that stage of your prepping where you can afford to get these kinds of foods, I highly, I highly recommend it. And uh, having said that, as always, I will leave a link to this. But don't think that I'm only leaving the link. Or don't think that I'm only saying that this is delicious. Just so that I can leave a little Amazon link and you guys can click on it and all that stuff. No. It's because this truly is delicious. This is probably the best tasting sweet you know, freeze-dried food that I've had. 
So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that I appreciate all your support. As far as clicking on the Amazon links and supporting the channel, thank you very much. It's actually producing results. Uh, I do believe that Amazon is about ready to send me a small check here uh, in not too distant future. And as soon as I get that, I will be announcing a giveaway, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to announce exactly how much it was, but I'll say that it was more than $30, okay? That, that all of your guys' support by clicking on there and purchasing things on Amazon uh, earned the channel uh, for last month, okay? So I will be doing a giveaway. Don't expect me to do a giveaway for the full amount because I have to take into consideration the shipping costs as well. Okay, but I will be doing a giveaway and more than likely, I'm not sure exactly if it's going to be a freeze dried food, but I'll think of something that, you know, I think I would like to have or that I already have that I really like and then announce the giveaway. But that'll come here in the future. First, I have to wait for Amazon to send send a check and then I can uh, go ahead and uh, do a giveaway, do a small contest and give it away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that. Uh, I should be doing another video tomorrow on something that is kind of like a payday prep, but not. It was kind of like more of a prepping opportunity that I ran into when I went to the store the other day. So we'll talk to you then. You all have a good day. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. And I hope that you got you had a lot of fun. And I hope that you all remembered what it really means instead of just getting drunk and eating hot dogs. So remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. Many blessings. Oh, let me say that again. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.